this is the vendor approval solution brought to you by the Vested Group. So with vendor approvals, we have a new custom record called the vendor request. So in our global search bar, we're gonna type in VRA and select the page for the new vendor request. On this page, you can see that we have several fields that are mandatory. So we'll go ahead and select a value here, which will auto populate a bunch of fields. Um, so we'll do that and you can see that there's several fields that are already populated. We'll make sure to go through and rename this so it's um, valid, but then we'll also select our subsidiary and our category. Request justification just to make sure. And the purpose of all of these different fields are to make sure that this vendor is number one, not in the system, and number two is a valid vendor that we're going to be using going forward. So we'll enter in the pertinent information, make sure that our city is capitalized. And then also let's see if there's any other fields that we need to copy. Yep, looks like there's an email. So we'll go ahead and copy that down and make sure that we select our terms and conditions here, as well as a default expense account. And you'll have a default expense account. You will know which vendor belongs to which account. And so in this particular case, we'll select one and move forward. So let's say we're in advertising. Validate a couple different fields here. And then we're going to click Save. So at this point, no vendor has actually been created in the system, only a new vendor request. So at that point in time, we can go back and make our edits or we can click submit for approval. And that's what we did. We have a field here that says record submitted just to make sure that you understand that you did submit it. And then by clicking that button, whoever we define will actually get an email saying that there's a new vendor request that needs approval. And you can see on the record here, the vendor, the vendor request record has been submitted. At that point in time, they have the ability to approve or reject, which will bring up this particular window. So we can say we want to approve that. And if there were any rejection or approval notes, we could enter those here and they will show up on the vendor request record. I'll just type something out. All right, we'll say to correct entry and process that request. At that point in time, we'll close this window out and refresh the page. Now we have a vendor request that has been approved and sent through the proper, proper channels. We'll receive an email stating that this particular vendor request has been approved. Um, and that you can see that there. We can change the verbiage on that as well. And all that information looks good. If we navigate to the custom tab, we will see our actual vendor record. So we're gonna open that in a new tab. And here is the vendor that we actually created. So to avoid duplicates and any kind of clean data, I'm using a, a test environment here with a test vendor. So I've done that before. That's the reason that you'll see the duplicates um, and as well with the name, but you can see all of that information. If you were to go back in and enter some bank details um, or change something on the vendor, it will actually, will have the ability to resubmit for approval. And at that case, at that time, it'll go back to the approver. They'll be able to see the mods, the modifications or the edits that you've made and approve it again. And it'll be back and ready for um, any transactions that you want to use. Well, thank you for your time. And don't forget to visit us at thevested.com slash contact for any further questions.